In the third season of Netflix's Lupin, a Sam Diop embarks on yet another expedition as he faces off against some longtime foes while devising fresh schemes to steal objects that are out of reach to the average person. Asain's mother, who has been missing in action since the series' inception, is the focus of this season's attention now that the threat of his father's story has been resolved. Asain is taken down memory lane by her return, where he discovers the name of his new foe. Here is a breakdown of everything that occurred in the season's last episode and what it implies going forward. Spoilers alert. Lupin Season 3 Plot Synopsis Asain, who vanished after outing Hubert Pellegrini, now resides in Marseille. Although he is hiding from the public, Asain's reputation as the master thief has completely changed Claire and Raël's lives. He goes back to Paris, steals the coveted Black Pearl, and then fakes his own demise since he doesn't want his family to endure any more suffering. Then again, some spirits do come back. They kidnap Mariama, his mother, and demand that he burglarize several locations for them. The list of actions grows riskier and more audacious, and eventually Asain must also sacrifice Benjamin. Eventually, though, he discovers the kidnapper's true identity and devises a strategy to free his mother, safeguard his family, and exterminate the adversaries for and for all. However, he ultimately needs to make a difficult choice that alters the trajectory of his life. Lupin Season 3 Ending What Happens to Keller Since the youngster put the gun in his hand and caused his conviction for murder, Jean Luke Keller had been wishing for retribution against Hussein. After patiently waiting for his chance to avenge Hussein, Keller utilized his mother, whom he found in Senegal, to make Hussein's life challenging. However, Keller's own people ultimately turn against him. After Keller tries to kill him by throwing him from a window, one of them informs the police about him. Manon, the other, receives an offer from Hussein and decides it would be best to quit her boss after learning the truth about what actually occurred all those years ago. Keller attempts to murder Hussein's family but is unsuccessful, mostly because of Claire's astute judgment. Hussein arranges a meeting with him at the Arc de Triomphe with the false promise that he will give Keller the Black Pearl in order to resolve their differences. When the police arrive and arrest Keller, it turns out to be a trap. Keller might have believed that Hussein would never go to the police since they would also arrest him. Keller is ultimately detained for a number of offenses, which means he will have to return to jail. What happens to the Black Pearl? As the police are occupied with apprehending Keller, Hussein finds a means to escape with the Black Pearl. He conceals it inside a flower and offers it to a lady while claiming to have purchased it for his unreturned date. The tourists are asked to leave when the police show up. Bruno recognizes the girl since she is leaving with the flower. He claims that he was the date who was expected to arrive but arrived late. He begs the girl for a flower, telling her that perhaps he can save what's left of his date with it. He receives the flower and pearl along with it from the girl. Bruno destroys the pearl while Keller is put in jail and Hussein is forced to face the music. We can presume that he sold the pearl to the highest bidder on the illegal market and made a lot of money, some of which he divided with Manon, based on the bag of cash we see on his desk in the closing scene. He might also be keeping Hussein's portion of the loot until he is released from jail. It might occur sooner rather than later, given the season's last scene. Does Hussein go to prison? Will he escape? No matter how skilled a thief Hussein was, he could never loot a location by himself. He needed help, and Benjamin was his best friend. Gadira enters the picture as Hussein turns to unusual options after being arrested. Hussein informs him of his predicament and begs for assistance. Additionally, he guarantees that he will give up when all is said and done and they run into each other again. Gadira honors his promises. He assists Hussein, which leads to the recovery of a stolen picture and the arrest of Manon, who was assisting Keller. In the end, Hussein doesn't flee when he has Keller in his grasp and the police have surrounded them. He presents himself as promised. He had the option to flee and take his family out of Paris. Although the plan was already in place, Hussein was aware that by carrying it out, his family's future would be in jeopardy. What kind of life would it be for his family, especially his son, if they had to go on the run as well? When Hussein asks Claire to flee with him at the beginning of the season, she advises him to accept responsibility for his misdeeds and turn himself into the police. At the time, he didn't concur with her, but looking back, he can see why she was right. He now realizes that, even if he escapes, his deeds will always follow him, putting his family in risk in one way or another, and he cannot afford that. Consequently, Hussein agrees to accompany Gadira when he discovers him. Hussein exploits his detention as a chance to exonerate Benjamin, who has been behind bars since the botched bracelet robbery. One of his top concerns for Hussein had been to free his pal from prison. Benjamin might have never been free if he had fled, and Hussein could not have tolerated that. He confesses to his misdeeds and is consequently in prison. Fortunately, he has books by Arsene Lupin to keep him company. When Hussein receives a communication from the prisoner in the adjacent cell, the plot takes a turn. The sender wants Hussein to pay for their wrongdoing. And for that, they have already turned one of his close associates against him, according to the message. Hussein is left to speculate as to who it might be, but he is aware that Claire and Raël are once more in danger. From his prison cell, he is unable to intervene to save them or discover his opponents. This implies that he will have to flee at the start of the following season. Knowing him, he won't find the work too challenging. 
discovering the nature of the plot against him and its participants is of greater importance, who sends the letter to Usain, who is his neighbor in prison. In the concluding scene of Lupin Part 3, a guard hands Usain an envelope and claims it is from his cellmate. The Cagliostro's Revenge, by Arsene Lupin, is depicted on the envelope along with a photo of Assassin clutching it. The book's plot is around an old enemy seeking revenge on Lupin by exploiting a person close to him, as indicated by the title. It turns out that the message sender has been making plans and may have already put the plan into motion. They intend to act similarly. Hubert Pellegrini is revealed to be the neighbor when the camera pans over to the subsequent cell and the sender is informed that the message was successfully delivered. Assane and Hubert have been rivals over the course of his narrative. Assane's father was murdered in prison after Hubert falsely accused him of stealing a necklace. Years later, Assane gets his retribution when he publicly exposes Hubert for all of his sins, including his criminal activity. Hubert is consequently sent to prison. Additionally, Assane turned Juliet, Hubert's daughter, against him. Hubert's desire to exploit a person close to Assane in order to get revenge on him this time makes sense. Who Hubert has betrayed Assane is yet unknown, but whoever it is must have an excellent motive for doing so. Three people come to mind when he considers it, Juliet, his best friend Benjamin, and his mother Mariama. Despite the fact that a mother ought to be loyal to her child, we don't really know Mariama. She is a thief as well, and despite the possibility that she loves her son, we are unsure of the limits of her greed. Maybe she used the kidnapping ruse to win her son over and get his approval. It could also be Benjamin. A saint had betrayed him, and as a result, he was sentenced to prison. Who is to say that prison hasn't changed him, even though he still won't tell on his best friend? He did struggle there, as evidenced by the slight wounds on his face. He may have been affected by Hubert during their time spent together in jail. It could also be Juliet. In order to remain with Usain in the future, she deceived her father. She might have felt betrayed when he left and is seeking retaliation now. Whoever it is, Hubert has already made Usain's life difficult by instilling distrust in everyone in his immediate vicinity. So far, his strategy appears to be working. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.